Hello, Magic here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Toho 17.5. Now, I know it's been a long time since I've made any video, and school sucks. Okay, just, just gonna point it out. It's pretty tough. But anyway, let's get back to the, uh, the main point. So, 17.5, I think it's been released or something like that. Now, from what I've understood so far, all the characters related to the game have been shown, right? And, um,. Now, I don't know if every single one of these characters are playable because this is a different style of game because obviously with the fighters, normally they're all playables. But since this is a different, I get like when from what Twilight Frontier said, different style, I don't know if they're all playable, okay? But you may have seen a mention online somewhere. So if you guys already know that, then that's fine. But I'm here just to bring the news to you guys if you did not know about these characters that are going to show up. Now, um, spoilers ahead, obviously, in case you wanted to, you know, see it, but you know, uh, all these characters will show up in the game. If you wanted to see it fresh, then, you know, you can just skip the video and, what's it called again? Skip it and just don't worry about this video, whatever. I'll make sure that, obviously, the thumbnail doesn't spoil anything. It's probably just going to be characters based. You know, Raymond Marissa, whatever. So that way I don't spoil anything. But without further ado, let us show you the characters that have at least been confirmed for this game. Now, also, one more thing to note the game, I think it's out, but I haven't been able to find a download link for it. Some music has been posted to YouTube, like I know the final boss and other characters as well. So let's get to the characters, okay? You guys have been warned. So we're to the website. So obviously, we knew Raymond Marissa based on the thing. Conoco, I made a I made a video before I take my hiatus, right? So that's that. Anrita Mitsu was a is a new character and is apparently a playable character too. Now this happened after I was on my hiatus during school, so she is the character. If in case you didn't know, she was also a new character um, for the game. Uh, let me check real quickly if it can if there's a, if it shows you her new outfit. Um, maybe not. Okay, so because. In the live trailer, they did show her Minamitsu's outfit, and it had like a captain's jacket and whatnot. Very different from the current iteration of her. Um, so I just want to make note of that. It's very different from it. Actually, I might be able to find it later in the video. Uh, but give me a second. I'm just going to showcase the characters and then show you costume design differences if possible. Okay. So then we have... Actually, no, no. no, no you, know, you, know, you know, this is actually the... Okay, give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. So, actually, no, 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 this is fine. Just, just telling it there. We'll talk to characters here, and then I'll show you the pictures that I was able to find on the script. That probably makes sense. Probably would work well, okay? So, Joan is back in the game. Now, that's not, I'm not going to say it's surprising, because she's been playable, and we've seen her in action. So, what she has involvement in this one, I am curious, because I do want to, um, I, I am curious to see how the sisters are going to be playing out. And just as a side note, her sister Shion is also going to be in the game as well. Now, I'm imagining she's playing the same role as in Antemi, right? Where she's kind of like Joan's support, right? She doesn't like fight, but she does provide backup, right? So that's what my assumptions are based on her on the past, right? I don't exactly know. And she also has a new design. Both of them have new design, which I'll showcase in a different uh, picture, okay? Now, now if you look at the name, this is this is like one of the main reasons why I had to draw and bring his attention, okay? So, good old Flandre is a playable character, okay? So I never thought I'd see the day where Flandre becomes a playable character. That shit is wild. You can't remember, she showed up back in 2002. It has been almost two decades since she's had a playable appearance. Now she has shown up in different games like Shoot the Bullet and then Violet Detector and then her most notable, or I guess more recent appearance, has been in the Detective Satori manga, okay? So she has shown up in that, so she's beginning some more appearances. How she's going to operate, I do not know. It says she's a playable character and she's um, the Joan's fifth stage boss. So I really want to see how this plays out so badly, okay? So this is one of the main reasons why I had to make a video, because you know what? This should be, I think for me this is like the most hyped thing ever, okay? Okay, so this is like the main reason. So if you guys are wondering why I made a you gotta thank Flandre for that, okay? So then, Kogusa, we already know, because I fought her before in the past. Okina! Now, Okina 
is apparently Fonji's scenario story character, okay? And Okina is popping up. Now, it's not surprising Okina is popping up because obviously now as a, a god, and she's had she's taken taken an active role in obviously her game, Kingdom Hearts Four Seasons, and then in the manga, at least the one with Clumpies. Um, so so, so some good to say here. She did show up, and then she showed up at the end of the chapter, and then it hinted that more plot was going to be played out. Okay, so I, I I can I see I'm not surprised that she is showing up in another form, right? Um, I do not know if she's shown up in newer mangas because I have not caught up to any of them because I've been so busy. But just to let you guys know, makes sense. Yame makes sense. Yugi, obviously we fought her and I suffered enough with her. Um, Oku, okay, it makes sense because she, um, Oku, this, this is taking place in the underground, right? So, since it's taking place underground, it's not surprising that we're seeing some of the other subterranean characters. Obviously, but we have, what? Two of them, Yugi and Yamane. So, you know, that works, makes sense. Um, Kutaku, Kutaka. Um, which is kind of cool to see, because I don't know how she's gonna play out. I do not know, obviously. But, she has to have, you know, I say she has to have some relevance in the story. But, Kogusa has proven in the past, when, in the games, in the game she did show up, she had no real role in it. She was just there for kicks, you know? So Kurika could be an example of that, but we'll have to see in the future, okay? And then this is the final boss right here, Yuma Totetsu. Now she is the leader of the Goyoku Alliance, and I believe the Goyoku Yoku Alliance was, I think, the eagle in the game. If you remember in Wild Beast's Lucas Features, I believe she is the she was the leader of the Eagle Squad because we saw the tur I think we saw the otter and we saw the wolf. So yes, she is the final one of the crew of the main bosses. So we did not see her at all because we did saw two of the leaders. I can't remember Saki maybe, Tetsu. I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at the name. Okay, so. But with the, she's the third one, we're, we, we didn't know, and people are speculating we're going to see her, and obviously now we see her, so there you go. And Chiyun is the last one to mention, because like, again, she's so supportive, so we don't know. And I guess, I guess in this session, it's non-playable, so... I guess we don't get to use them, unfortunately? You never know in the future, but this is the, the game plan. So, at least confirm Marissa, Reimu, Kaneko, Minuitsu, Jon, and Flandre, and a very unique cast of playable characters, two for sure. Kaneko has not been playable, Minamito has definitely not been playable. Joan was playable. And obviously Flandre, okay, we, we all know she's never been playable, okay? Th that's a given. And then this cast, only Aku so far has been playable. I, mean, I guess you can technically guess she only she's used, so depending on how you want to look at that. But let's go to Twitter, because that's where the, I saw the pictures, okay? Okay, so, so here is Kutika. And this is her appearance. Nothing's really. I can't notice. I don't notice a costume differences so far. Okay, so that's that. And this is Okina. Makes sense. I gotta mention, I mentioned she's here. And look at Shion and Jones' outfit. They are very. Um, they are much more simplistic. At, well, on my side from the bling, they're much more simplistic compared to the ones we saw back in. in uh, a tenemy. Might be explained, maybe not, but we'll see. Ooh, this was the good shit right here. This was the boom. So crazy stuff is happening. Crazy stuff is happening. And so just what just one <laughs> side note, um this semester from Jan uh from September to April, I am taking Japanese, so I'm actually able to read this as Katakana. And reading it, obviously, in the Japanese form is very different um, from the English one. Obviously, because there are some stuff that Japanese cannot pronounce. So, I'm obviously going to stick to the the English version because it makes sense, but this is done in a Western style. Laundry Scarlet. I can actually say this. Fa-ran-do-ri-so-ga-re-do. Something like okay? I, I'm still practicing, so I can read a little bit of Katakana um, and Hiragana. I'm not, I, I just started Kanji, so one step at a time, one step at a time. So this is interesting. Obviously, 
I don't know if all the characters are going to be unlocked. That's actually a very good question. We'll see how it plays out. Because obviously, Raymond and Marissa will probably be characters that you can play off the bat. No debates. I could imagine Flandre, Minamitsu, uh, who else would play the Konako? Who else? Joan could be unlocked after completing bits by bit. Just how, like, Antony, you did Raymond and Marissa stuff, and then you got, you got split off to different characters and back and forth. So that can happen. And I think this is the last picture, so this is the last boss here, and she's got a big ass spoon, and it's been memed already, okay? So this shit has been memed as hell. So, give me a second if I can find a picture of all the characters. So we saw, saw Chronicle in the past, I already did that, because, I know, back when I was more active in YouTube. So I've shown that, Flandre, the new boss, what, the new boss is called Yuma Tohetsu. To Okay, Yuma, called Yuma, it's easy. Actually, that's, that's a pretty easy name, all things considered, okay? So give me a second, we're back, I wanna find, if I can find anything else, picture, official one. Okay, so I was able to find a picture related to her, what you call it again, her new appearance for Minamitsu. So this is the new one uh, for uh, Goyoku. Um, has a, I guess, captain's jacket? I'm not too sure, I mean, it looks like a jacket, but I don't know if it's specific related to captain. Hats obviously there, and then she got a huge anchor, which makes sense. Now, that's just her new appearance, and I think I've covered that. Should be all the characters so far because the Twitter one gave a lot of the new ones already. So, Flandre, Okina, uh, the sisters, Kutika, and Ikonoko. I don't know if Ikonoko has had a big one yet because I always I made I showed the trailer, I can't remember the trailer, and obviously the new boss, Yuma. So, that Oh, there's Oku. I don't think I've seen a picture of Oku yet, but that might be shown in the future, okay? Now, I want to make sure, note, the themes have been posted on YouTube. At least the final boss has been posted. The Flandre one has been posted as as far as this recording has played out, okay? Just want to make note of that. I've listened to the Flandre one, because I, I want to keep the final boss, like, you know, it, oh, okay, I'm probably going to make a playthrough of it, just a quick one, nothing too crazy for the school. I want, so I want that to be, you know, a surprise for me because I'm imagining this is gonna have zoom style music, okay? So yeah. Laundry, I'm liking it. It's nothing crazy. It's a uh, much more it's a uh, I would say the it has a very a much smoother feel compared to what you would imagine. Uh bandwidth, so I'm really excited to uh I'm more I'm happy to listen to her track and then everybody else's we'll have to see how it plays out, okay? But so far I'm pretty happy about it. Um so I cannot wait to make a playthrough of this and I'm gonna be real this is probably gonna be the last Toho content I'm gonna be doing for a while because of school so probably the game plan in the future even with school what I'll do is any main related games I probably will cover still just because I am still interested in that and I do want to see how it plays out okay uh, fan games probably not it takes too much time nowadays so can't, can't handle that but I think this would be a good way to show you guys some stuff because it's been a long time and I am pretty excited to see this come on. Oh, come on, real Flandre pretty much forced me to do it because come on, man. This might be her last chance to get a playable appearance. And you know what? We'll take that. We'll take that. Actually, now that I think about it, I think nearly every single character in the EOSD has been playable in some fashion now. Not Lumia. Um, Chirino, obviously. Mainling, yes. Patchley, yes. Sokka, yes. Romelia, yes. Flandre, yes. The only ones who have not been, like I said, Rumia, Dayuse, and Kokuma. But again, those three, well, Kokuma and Dayuse were not technically real characters before the fans made them into characters. So it makes sense those two would not be included. But Rumia, she was a legit character. So. So she's technically the only one of the EOSD crew to not be a playable character. So that <laughs> just goes to show you, man, EOSD <laughs> will always get supported no matter what, okay? So uh, that's going to be it for this video. It's been a long time since I made a pretty lengthy video, but I mean, this is pretty big news. And obviously, once I played the new game, it'll be awesome as well. So anyway, like always, this is my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Yeah.